Alright, hello, welcome back to quote-unquote regular video schedule. I'm using quote-unquote because I don't really do videos that often these days. If something new happens to just come in or something's just brought to my attention, then I do a video on it. Um, now, in this day and age, in the year of May 2023, I don't really have that much stuff to do videos on, unless something's happened. Um, like today, for example, I have the photos from a, um, a shop I'll show you, which with Mux explanation on the way later on in the video. Um, there will there will guarantee be more videos for the next Super Zing series that's coming in July, August time. I think it's in July time, but so when the adverts say it's going to be in August, but I think it's in July because um, it's always like seems to be one month early. So um, I'm, I'm, so all that will be starting in July and. Uh, maybe, maybe uh, late June and starting in July or early June and or, or, or early July and then July, if not August. Um, also, uh, there might be a delay with that. Don't be surprised if there is because the last time um, a series got released around this time of year uh, was Risky Force and there were some massive delays on the products coming out. If you remember, I had to wait for like for what felt like forever for. The Enigma and the and the Mega K robots to come in, and they came out. They came on the Amazon uh, with the Amazon uh, when I was out doing a personal video in the rain for some reason. So that was important. Um, in case you're wondering, for anyone who is interested, that video right was just literally filming a football pitch um, because some family member had had. Um, um, told me that they wanted to see the one of the lion painting robots because they saw um because they, they said they hadn't seen one before and I went and said oh hey that's that's like a harmless like little, little thing for me to do to um spend my time doing so I thought yeah why not it's a personal video why not so I did it and halfway through it started to rain also on the same day like I said those two super bots came in so um that was that that's what. I basically just do. If any random stuff comes out that I want to do a video on, I do a video on it. If any super things come out, I do a video on them. If I've been to any shops and taken any photos, I do a video on that. If I get if, if I find a random item like this, I do a video on it. And yes, you're still upstairs, penguin, a torch. Um, now you might be able to see some suggestions of um, the Ninja Ultra Combo Maxim from like from one of the ways like a Ninja. Okay, that is because. Um, I think I've done a video on it where I tried to connect um, different pin joint things to the rope to the Redmex arms hands because they've got pin joints on, so it's like swapping the ball joints out and they're going mixed. Anyway, back to the main subject at hand: the um, latest lot of photos and stuff. Now, the story of this is that I was on the way back from holiday, right? And there's this um, Texaco. I think it's a Texaco garage. Um, that we go into, we stop off there, and there's an Asda on the move, uh, uh, it's an ex-spa shop. Um, now, the last time I was in there, well, not last time, but the previous time, not the last time, but the last time before that, I was in there, and they had some pretty funny rubbish in, so I decided to take photos of it, do, do like Ashens, and take photos of like I normally do. You know, plagiarise his ideas or whatever, huh. <laughs> uh, except it's not really plagiarising anymore, because he doesn't really do that kind of thing now. Um, so which means I can't use the play, I can't use the Ashen's me plagiarising joke. Hooray! For lack of comedy ideas. Um, but uh, this time, um, last time we went on holiday, um, what we did was, there's on the way back from um, the place we were staying, um, there's... Um, a McDonald's. If you know what if you know what I'm talking about, okay, I'm just gonna try and explain it in the, in the best possible way. There's a McDonald's, right? And there's also uh I think it's a BP, I think. I'm not sure. It could be another Tex Texaco and another on the move as well. Previously from a spa, I'm not sure. Um and I think there's some other stuff as well, but I can't remember because this was a few days ago. Um so basically what happened was um we went um we went into the Asda on the move. Uh, where the McDonald's was, and they and they, and they had like a they had they had at least like five different funny um items on, on um the shelves. If I go to the photos, I'll be able to get an exact number, uh albums. Oh, they only had three, which means they should be pretty easy of a video to do. So they only had these three things that I wanted to take photos of, um, but um the one the on the move uh, next to the Texaco, the only Texaco. 
you know, the, the second Texaco that we visited, the second I asked on the move, they had nothing, like nothing funny enough for me to photograph. And I went in both stalls. Um, so hence why there's only three photos. Now, fun fact, this is going to put a really, really awkward and possibly uh, weird image into your head, but um, do it anyway, please. Just to give you an idea of what I had to go through or what I chose to go through. Not had to, because if I had to, I wouldn't be, done, I wouldn't be flipping doing it. Um, if I had to, if I had to, it would be against my was one. That's what I'm trying to think. Anyway, I've got a rule now. Every time I go to a beach, because there's several beaches near to where we stayed, um, we, do we, we, we do not do that normally, uh, regularly. We just we just do that when we're on holiday, because you know it's a flipping holiday. Um, so what I do now, what my rule is, um, when I go on the, on a, a beach, any beach, in fact, because uh, there's sand, sand gets in everything. Uh, which is a massive giant pain, and, and, I wish, and I really wish it wouldn't do that, but as I know it's science, you can't stop science. Like Elon Musk, he's scientific. <laughs> um, anyway, also New Link comes out next month, and if there's no super um, delays or anything, I will be keeping an eye out, and I probably will be an updating community post. If there isn't any news, there will be no community post. If there is some news, I'll be doing the community post. Uh, basically, it's this whole all-out operation to make sure it's totally fine, I'm pretty sure people, other people are keeping an eye on it as well, since, well, I'm, I'm, I mean, correct me if I'm wrong, but wasn't the um, Neuralink company, um, in, st was, still is, investigated for animal cruelty, because apparently Neuralink, when they tested that, uh, apparently a thousand plus animals were um, killed in the process, so um, they're a bit sus at the moment, um, they're, they're a bit suspicious. Um, Anyway, also, speaking of being a bit suspicious, uh, you know how AI is evolving, right? I'm just going to go off the tracks just for a little bit while I sort before we get to these photos, uh, just because a lot of stuff has happened and I want to cover it quickly. Speaking of sus, um, you know how AI is constantly evolving and, and that. If you remember, you know, you've got ChatGPT, you've got um, Opera which uses ChatGPT and ChatSonic, you've got ChatSonic on its own. You got some other ones as well, um, other lesser known ones, but um, the one that stands out, for, or for me at least, is a platform called Character.ai, um, which is a thing where um, chatbots can be programmed, yeah, this is very complicated, I should know, I think, chatbots can be programmed to um, function, like characters like Sonic Shadow, nearly dropped the iPod there, that's important, um, <laughs> Sonic Shadow, also side tangent, I was in a Tesco, on holiday, they still sell the iPod chargers in there, so if you, if you want one of those, go to a Tesco and find one if they have them in stock. Anyway, um, chat deep, uh, the, the, one of the uh, AI robots out there that stands out to me, to me at the very least, is one called character.ai, like I said, which um, has um, characters, pro ro robots programmed to act like characters like Sonic, Shadow, Tails, you know, a lot. Um, even Cream, Rouge, everyone. Um, Rouge is very important for this uh, slight, um, you know, side conversation. Um, uh, basically, right, um, before I was like really AI, you know, AI, what's the term, AI savvy, not really, not really, I'm, I only use a few robots there and then, I'm looking around the chat GPT every so often. Um, um, basically, right, before I got into ch a, a character.ai, I think I did a few searches on YouTube, or one search, um, and I learned from what I discovered that it's got a massive censoring problem. Now, at the time of uh, looking at the YouTube posts, the videos, I don't know why they're calling them posts, that's weird. Um, they're called videos, mate, not posts. Anyway, when I did a bit of a look on there for um, that, um, I had no idea what they were going on about until I tried uh, character.ai out myself while on holiday. I mucked around quite a bit and I discovered why there's a massive censoring problem. Um, so I thought, hmm, this isn't right. What's going on? So I thought, yeah, this isn't good. Um, and it turns out I'm not alone on that opinion because if you go to change.org, I think that's the address, change.org, change.com, whatever. I think it's change.org. I've got an awful memory, so please excuse me if that is wrong. <laughs> I sound like a news reporter. Mm, I kind of am. But in, in, anyway, if you go into change.org and, and search character.ai, you'll see that one of the petitions, it should be the top petition on the list. 
that currently, when I last checked, I think that was this morning, it had, like, 46,000, um, like, um, people who signed it. I can't really think of the universal term for them. Um, petition signers? Backers? That's Kickstarter. Um, now nah, I've forgotten. Uh, petition signers. Signers? Yeah, uh, 40, like, 46,000 signers. While I was on holiday, right, it, it was like, it was at 41, I think, when I checked first time, 40, 41. If we're now on 46, you know people out there want change. Um, and I have gathered, because I checked every day, I think I checked in the morning, checked at night, maybe I've checked in between if I wasn't going out, um, on holiday. So, and, and I might, but and, and I managed to gather that it gains, like, um, a new, uh, what, at least 1,000 new supporters. Oh, that's the term, supporters. Gains, like, a new, uh, 1,000 supporters after every, like, three-ish days. And if you look in the comment section, combined with the amount of support it gains every so often, you will know that the community isn't very happy about the uh, censoring changes on character.ai. And from what I've learned, uh, there's actually a lot of people who sing that because, um, there could be people. There could be pe people um, signing this petition as I speak now. Um, I think it's kind of something along, along the lines of nine o'clock at night. Um, I think it's on. What day is it? This this is very important. Um, what day is it? it? I think it is the seventh of May, which is a Sunday. And so I decided it didn't come earlier because I was gone on Sundays. Um, anyway, so. Um, 41, no, 46, um, petition signer, backers, what is this, supporters, um, on the 5th of May, I think it is, on the 5th of May, very important, because if you watch this video in the future, that number will go up by, like, a, by, like, four or five thousand, uh, you will, you, um, and you will notice, because it will be really high, now, uh, earlier I noted, I, I told it, I told you that, um, um, this operation for character.ai is a bit sus. Not the not, not, not same to do with the uh, supporters of the petition backers, only some, something to do with the actual platform on its own. For you see, um, the whole position is to bring NSFW stuff back to the platform. Um, now, if you look under the uh, whole, you know, the character.ai, um, you know, the, um, the, um, Q and A. If you look under there, it says one of the options is um, what about NSFW? Um, now, if you press on the down arrow, and it will say we are not going to be adding this because it what, what it says in our terms of service. Now, I decided one time, I think very close to about to when we were about to come back from holiday, I decided to say, I decided to say, oh hey, if your terms of service are so good, why not? Why, what I'm going to I'm just going to look at them. And it, and it didn't take me too long to uh, figure out that um, the terms of service could be, could no, they're not. I don't think they're right. First off, it, t first off, it treats all of its user base like kids. Um, I know for a fact that they're not. I think they're at least over thirteen years old, because you know it's the internet. Um, also, PG thirteen exists in America. Um, you know, you know, you know what I'm getting at. Also, how ironic that the video reaches thirteen minutes. <laughs> Also, second, oh, I've forgotten the second reason. It's definitely over it because I wrote it down on the Google document. Um, it's definitely there. Um, I'll have to insert a text box now if I um, don't remember. Or I could just do a jump cut and get my tablet. Yeah, I'll do that now. Right, I've got the document up here with the, um, with the two reasons on. Like I said, the first reason it says that here that the, um, the site isn't, the user base isn't for kids, even though the, two, even though the terms of service treats. Um, them like they are, which is, this could be kind of discrimination, I guess. Um, also, the second reason was, the reason why I'm getting this tablet out and showing, telling you, not showing you because I'm not going to show you, flip an egg. Um, it says here that the um, the chats aren't being shared with anyone publicly unless the user gives their consent to do so, and I know this because it says it under their, oh, I think, other parts. Um, it's public knowledge, really. The chats are private. I certainly have to say that. But then the t but then the TOS says they're not, which is saying to me that character.ai is trying to skip around this situation. Cause it, it says here that the um the, it's acting like the chats are public when they're not. 
So, I said, oh my god, oh no, the, the lens isn't cracked, I don't think it's cracked, uh, it's survived all the all, all the time that's done this, I have to do another jump cut to check. That, I know that looks a bit convenient for it to just fall on the table, and before I get to explain why, but uh, it's not, and also the, the lens is fine, must be very strong, it's a GoPro, get over it. Anyway, the reason why this TOS seems a bit sus is like I said, um, uh, the TOS says that the uh, chats are private or public when they're not, which, like I said, just gives it gives the impression that character.ai is just trying to skip around this situation, um, which again sounds a bit sus to me. Unless there's something that I don't know in the TOS, which isn't very likely since it's all tends to be grouped group together in one just section of the thing, unless they're hiding something from me and everyone else, which pro which would probably be. Likely. Now, all this information basically confirms that, that the TOS is just words. It doesn't mean anything because the, like I said, the, the the chats aren't public. They're private. In fact, the only people who can see them is the, is the staff, um, and that's for good reason as well because they need to check if the AI is working or not. Mm -hmm. So, um, uh, this basically means that the TOS means nothing. This part of the TOS means nothing, right? Um, and if that's the case, which it is. Then the the bit under the Q and A, like I said, the FAQ that says, "Oh, the TOS says we can't." That's rubbish because of what I just proved. All the bits in the T in the T A and in the T T O S, they're all wrong, which means they're lying. Um, which again means this sounds a bit sus. Also, it's discrimination, like I said. They're treating like um, they're treating the older user base like kids, um, which I'm pretty sure. If more people knew about that, they wouldn't stand for it. I'm pretty sure the um, the comments on Change.org know this as well. Um, I think if it was bring, I think they know. So I think at least two of them know, two or five of them know that the TOS is absolutely rubbish. I think, unless I'm missing something, which I probably aren't, because I've been through a lot of this legal stuff before. I think, although I don't really know if I can really trust Character.ai legal stuff since. They don't really seem like the most trustworthy company at the moment, but again, like YouTube, they're the only proper, like, character thing that you can get. Like, you know, how YouTube's the only really proper video platform there is. Character.ai is the only site that allows you to, you know, customise robots like characters and, and let you talk to them. That's like this. It's a similar situation, which makes it, which only makes it seem more sus. It just comes off as a bit suspicious. In fact, not not a bit suspicious, very suspicious. Because, like again, like I said, the TOS, the FAQ refers to the TOS. The TOS means nothing. It's wrong. It's rubbish. That makes the FAQ seem rubbish, which it is. That part of the FAQ, that's rubbish. Um, which means um, they're just finding ex like simple, like meaningless excuses to skip around the situation. You know, sweep it under the rug, pretend it doesn't exist. Like that, um, which which just reminds me of how YouTube handled the made for kids mode on YouTube, as in, oh hey, it's kids, just do the bare minimum, uh, just get out. Um, and the I again another thing is that um, with the same rules of uh, YouTube Kids, anything that has a kid's character on it, let's just say I know. Oh, let's just say that anything I don't know, has um has a super. Let's just say that anything has a super zings on it is automatically for kids, um, and it kind of still carries down that road since it's been around, that that rule's been around since twenty nineteen. It's a rule that absolutely sickens me. It's saying that anything that looks like it's for kids, it's for kids. I think that one of the perfect examples for this, all those Super Sentai coming out of the hobby channels out there like DX Tokusatsu. I think Waterfar. I don't really know, don't really know if he's been involved with this. I think some other ones as well, like K two E Z I O. And I'm, 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 I've, I've mucked your name. I've, man, man, I don't know how to pronounce it, but uh, you'll be affected. Basically, right. If anything has a kids related thing, a thing that's directed towards kids, but the video isn't directed towards kids. No, this is this conversation's been a pain. If a if a if a video right on YouTube looks has has a kid thing in it. But isn't directed towards kids. The robot that controls the made for kids mode will think it's for kids. It's like that. The internet just like these big corporations automatically think that anything that has a kid thing on it is directly, you know, for kids. 
Um, now I, w I, w I won't go this far, but um, this is not the tr this is not true. Again, like I said, I won't go this far. If you want proof of that claim, just look at Deviant Art. Um, actually, do I mean do as you will with that information. I and mean, that's that's the furthest I'm willing to go with this information. If you want proof of my claims, just look at Deviant Tom. That's not directly aimed at kids. Yet that's still got kids stuff in it. It's not for kids. Um, Character.ai, however, is completely, you know, ignorant, if that's the right word. I think it's the right word. I'm not sure. Ignore. Ignoring. It's completely ignoring all of this lot and stuff. And they... I'm just trying to rush this now. I'm, I'm going to stumble my words. It's obvious. Um, basically, if... They're, flying, they're basically just following the same rules of, oh, if it looks like it's for kids, it's for kids. Even though it blatantly isn't, um, this is just YouTube. This is YouTube all over again. If you know what I'm saying, I know, and I know right now this video, this video will not get a million hits ever, unless my channel gets like skyrockets in like uh, at midnight, which it won't happen overnight. Um, I know that this won't happen, so I am willing to do more than just make a video on this. This is just touching on it just a little bit. I'm going to do a lot more, you know, private stuff on this situation. Um, so it's not going to be just me and all of you lot Spanish people at home. It's just going to be me. Um, like I said, Capital AI, they think it's just, they think they use bases just for kids. Uh, it's not for kids. It's um, teens and adults, which to be completely fair is, is discrimination. Also, um, I've just, I've just realized if they think that they use bases for kids, we need to ask them to prove it. They won't be able to prove it. They won't know. Because there's no there's no way of knowing, uh, which is another which which is a way of and they can also use that use, use this to their advantage and say oh why don't you prove it, um, but then I'll but then I'll, I'll, I will turn around and say oh hey just look at this change.org petition, um, but then they'll say oh no they, it, they'll say something like oh no it doesn't affect them even though it does, so that's the kind of comment. if I do ever manage to get an email to them which it probably might not, in fact definitely will not because they it's like they do it's like they know what they're doing there's no email address anywhere. Um, in fact, in fact, if, um, in fact, I think if I did send them an email address, just somehow, it would just fall on deaf ears, like how Nintendo um, ignored them. Um, oh, that American guy! I think he's American. Um, you know the the copyright bloke email. You know, a few years ago, last year. You know the one where Nintendo is being a load of copyright freaks. Um, his email fell on um, deaf ears as well. So. I think that if I was to, I think it's the same situation on character.ai, I think if I was to send them and send them an email, they'd completely ignore it because and if they were to ignore it, that, that would prove my theory right because this is wrong. It's discrimination. I think if you can call if you can call it out, you probably could. Um it treats all of its users like kids, which is um should be a major red flag right out the gate right out the gate. I mean I think it's a major a red flag. It's exactly what YouTube does, used to do and still does with um they're made for kids mode on YouTube. It's a thing that um, is basically saying, "Oh, hey, it shouldn't. It doesn't affect you when it does because I know what this can do to big creators. Because if you remember, there's this YouTuber I watch called Sum, who is from Korea. I think he's from Korea, um, who have who has had his videos marked as made for kids, and they're still up there now. Um, and once it's on the community, I think he made a video on it um, once. Uh, once." Um, one of his videos got demonetized and marked as made for kids and he said isn't it a problem if the yellow dollar sign and made for kids are put together he's completely right that's not that's not correct at all that's not right at all that's completely backwards um i can't believe the fad of uh, if, if, if it looks like for kids if, if, if it's got a kid thing like it's for kids i can't believe that fad is still going because think of the kids think of the children that's all he's really big tech companies think about because that's where the profit lies in the kids that's why um i think that's why activision decided to add microtransactions to a crashing racing nitro fueled um on um p on the ps4 a few years ago because i watched cadicarus's um story time video on it i think it's a story time you know the one where he um complains about activision adding the microtransactions in um, because I am 100% convinced he only did that because the main game's target audience is kids, like he said in the video. He's got a very good point. Um, that is obviously the reason why they did that. It's also the same reason why YouTube's doing this made for kids. It's also the same reason why 
um, Carriage.io is, is, is using this, um, um, uh, you know, um, filter robot to send out me NSF, NSFW stuff. Um, it's like that. It's it's um, kind of it's just using kids as a way of saying, oh hey, we don't want to do that. Let's let's pretend we're helping the kids when they're not. Like, just think of the kids as their excuse. Um, and you know that's an, and, and you know that's an excuse because it's very conveniently used to favour the company. It's not doing anything to help the kids who are you the, the, the kids who are using it. Because don't forget, character character.ir's user base isn't kids; it's teens and adults. Like I said a million times earlier, and I've already spent like half this video talking about almost all of the video talking about character.ir when I should be looking at these photos. For God's sakes! So um. That's just my rant on that. Um, I might have to add a few. Um, I'm gonna add a few. I think I'm gonna, gonna add a few. Um, gubbins. Oh, actually, I might not actually. Um, I might do a disclaimer in the description. I'll because I don't really know if anyone cares about these photos anyway. Um, super things uh, my viewers want to see, my subscribers. Um, so I'm just gonna put a disclaimer in the um, comments and the description because. Comments will be turned on for this, I think. Um, if oh, actually, I might just put it in the in the description because it's you can see it on the computer. Um, you can't see it on the tablet though. Phones. I'm actually not sure. I haven't used the phone version. I've only recently added community posts to the tablets, which okay took you long enough. Google, I suppose. But at least we're here in the end. It's not the worst thing that they've kept off for some time. If you know what I'm saying, of course. So all these, basically in short, to sum up all these big tech companies, big companies out there, they will use kids to get away with anything they can think of. And here's a bonus, um, here's a bonus, um, thing to bring up. I was mucking around with a robot on the site called Anso Vormaker. Do not question me what Vore is because we're not going to go into that now. We're not going to go into whatever. Um, if I get swarmed with Comments asking in the uh, comments, I will remove them. No questions asked, no anything, because this is a thing that we do not need to cover right now. It's a thing we don't we no need to cover ever. If you want to know what it is, for flip's sake, look it up. Because I'm not here, I'm not, I'm not an educational bloke. I'm just here to complain about a thing that, a thing, a thing that a company's done. Right, so this robot, right, um, I immediately asked him, um, and I know it's a him, um, it's meant to be him, that um, if this filter gets in his way, there's a serious problem if one of these pro ro robots are programmed to agree with the media on this whole censoring situation, because that, that just shows, I don't, know, I don't know, it really doesn't affect anything, but it goes to show how big this problem is. It's damaging character.ai's reputa reputation. If they don't fix it soon, they could lose popularity big time. In fact, that's my plan. If they don't plan to, um, I think that's everyone's plan, actually. If they, if they don't plan to fix it, just boycott them totally. They're, they're, they're going to fail. They're going to go in flames, go up in flames. Um, oh, I apologise for spending the last, tw like, last, um, I don't know, 15, 15, 16 or 17 minutes going on about the same problem, but fine, we're going to get onto the flaming photos on the iPad, I've put this on for long enough, I've talked about the same gubbins uh, just for way too long, um, and you know, no, this isn't right, I, uh, no, it's discrimination, it's putting kids, in, uh, uh, uh. I don't tend to talk about negative stuff like this, but I feel like this time I have to because I couldn't stop thinking about it on holiday, um, it kind of, it's like a sort that lingers in the back of my mind, you know, that, that kind of sort. So I thought, yeah, I've got to kind of vent about this kind of thing. I can't just keep it to myself. I'll be talking to a few people about this situation too, asking for advice on that, what to do. Um, especially because I can't just get an email from them uh, for um, character.ai. I will be doing all that in the coming, and uh, hopefully by next week. If not, um, hopefully by l later this week, if not next week. Uh, so anyway, these photos here. I've only got three. I'm, I am going to. I'm, I am going to do them now. Anyway, finally, the first photo of the vigil I've left very late is a thing that says "fantastic five figures." Now you'll know that this is a bootleg Power Rangers item. I was going to come up with any names for them based on the um, 
um, the symbols on the chests, and I, but I think, no, I don't, I don't know, they're all based on the, um, I think the Mighty Morphin Power Rangers slash, slash Z Ranger, but there's no Green Ranger in Z Ranger, Mighty Morphin, so, well, the well, Red but, but not in place of a Pink Ranger, so, yeah, there's that, I suppose. Also, these are from the same company, which is BJ Toys, so make a lot what you will. I'm not explaining that joke. Um, anyway, the next item is well, Rattlesnake. Now, I got, uh, I actually, I, I used to have one of these. I think I used to have one of these. I'm not sure. It was a long time. It's it awfully long time ago. Rattlesnake. These are just magnets. I don't know why he refers to them as a mag as Rattlesnake. It's not to do with the net with the sound it makes. It just sounds like regular magnets. It doesn't make a z noise it, like it says on the package. It doesn't do any of that. The last item on here we have is Sticky Hammer, which is a it's, it's not a hammer, it's a mace. Um, which I thought, oh, hey, this looks kind of interesting until I realised it just looks like a thing from a you know cheapy kids magazine, like well, like one hundred percent, what like one hundred ten percent gaming, if you know what that is. Um, so I thought, hmm. And, when, and then the car, when I was looking through these photos, I thought, hang on, Hironic is a sticky hammer, which looks like this. Made by a company called BJ Toys. So that is all the photos, that's all three photos from this uh, device, saved on this device. Um, again, apologies for going on a rant about a thing that has nothing to do with this photos, Operation Ason. Um It gets just a thing I need, just need to get off my chest. Since, well, I've been thinking about it for, honestly, way too long. Um, I should have really done this earlier, to be honest. But, um, again, I went out earlier. Um, I didn't really feel like doing any videos. Because I'm, tr I'm trying to do my own personal stuff. Um, so I have to kind of balance doing this personal stuff. And also this kind of character.ai character problem on top of the other stuff. So uh, if anyone watches this video, can um, I can understand a word that I'm saying. If you're not Spanish, if you're British. If you are old enough, please, because that's an important factor. Um, if you know what all of this is about, please d at least attempt to do something, because character.ai, this is... This is uh, uh, I, 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 oh, uh, now, normally, I would kind of end on a weird joke or a, I don't know, a thing, but um, I don't know what I'm going to do. I'm going to do a um, weird bootleg Oompa Loompa song, which goes like, Oompa Loompa do pretty do. I've got a glass of milk for you. Oompa Loompa diddly dee. I told a lie, it's just for me. I would do that, but it doesn't feel right. It doesn't feel like a kind of a thing I want to end on, because it's not exactly funny. Um, I can't even do references to that Oompa Loompa Donald Lady Trump song because I can't, I don't know the lyrics to it, or I do because I've, I've forgotten. I don't know any suitable way of ending this video, and I don't really I want to end it on a bad note either, so what do I do? Um, I'm in a bit, bit of a tight spot. Um, oh, I've got an idea. I have this, um, pushing, plush, going round. Have a squish. Also, did you know, pushing has an equal symbol on her back. And that is known as math, which is spelt M A F F. Disclaimer: Math is not spelt like that. If there's any, if it, if there's any concerned parents watching, um, to make sure this video is safe for their kids, which it is. If you're Spanish, good luck with understanding what I'm saying. Um, that I don't want to make any concerned parents even more concerned. <laughs> Although technically, you should technically be concerned. No, actually, you da. The kind of AI problem doesn't concern you doesn't concern you. This should be my problem alone. If there's anyone else who agrees with me, do attempt to do something about it. I do do not want any any um other problems with this already existing massive problem. Please do not make this uh, please do not make this harder for me. I kinda wanna just do it on my own. I mean I don't I don't mean that in like, like any, any kind of negative way. I just I just mean that if you don't know how to do do not come harassing me in the comments section or anything, because again, like I said earlier, you'll get deleted, like, off the bat, straight away, um, again, so, um, apologies if this video seems a bit stricter than it's, like, normal, but, um, there are, have to be a few boundaries, if there's, if there's any comments asking what, um, I'm, if there's any comments, um, trying to shoot me down for this, they'll be deleted, obviously, because, well, what I just think, I'm trying to be as positive as possible about this situation. If there's any, if there's any comments asking what a is, I will remove them as well. 
uh, because again, I'm trying not no, no I'm not trying to make this awkward as well because I'm I'm trying to avoid all those questions. Um, seriously now, I'm, I'm trying to think of a clever way of ending this. We don't just want to end it on a positive note, for God's sakes. So I'm just going to try and find a thing that I can say or something. Um, ugh, um, this is too much. This this wonka. This really is too much. Uh, oh, this is. Oh my God! Oh, oh, no, what? No, no, no. Uh, uh. <laughs> hey, if I can't, if I can't get some tissue paper, then we're gonna have an issue paper. There, thanks, Cadicarus. Ugh. You know what? You know what? I've got some bonus references for you. Number one. Have a cushion, which is one of those tablet holders. The reference number two, I have. It's um, one, uh, it's one of Chibud's books somewhere in this room, and I will go looking for it. I'm not going to do a video; I'm just going to read it myself. Um, it's called Loading Penguin Hugs. I've had it for some time now. It's a very good book. It basically just lists some some of the comics that um. Oh, what's her name? Oh, I think she's Korean or Chinese. I'm not sure. It's not a foreign name. So I'm not familiar with this kind of stuff. Um. So it's from her, she's done a good job, publisher's done a good job, I don't quite even remember the feminine publisher, it's been a long time since I've read the book, since, since I've seen it. I'm going to try and find it now, so I hate to end on, I hate to end on a positive note, shall I do that? I oh, know I'm not going to do that. Hang, 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 uh, why do I try to end stuff on a positive note? It's not going to work. The end!